That was Eric B. and Rakim paid in full. So there are some, including the governor of uh, Florida, who wants uh, the flag lowered at half mast to commemorate Rush Limbaugh. Let me just give you a few things, a uh, quote to what Rush Limbaugh has said. He said when Gar Jerry Garcia died, Rush Limbaugh called him just another dead doper and a dirtbag. When, when Freddie Mercury died, he played another one, Bites the Dust, and said it was autobiographical. He called a preteen Chelsea Clinton uh, the, the, the White House dog along with a photo of her. He said that Michael J. Fox was exaggerating his Parkinson's disease symptoms. I remember when Bill Clinton was president and he made fun of Hillary Clinton and said she would look good as a hood ornament. He insisted that Obama was only elected a president because he was black. He also suggested that the NAACP should have riot rehearsals, that they should get a liquor store and practice robberies. Look, let, it, let me put it to you this way, he said. The NFL all too often looks like a game between the Crips and the Bloods without any weapons. There, I said it to an African-American female caller. Take the bone out of your nose and call me back. He said, I mean, let's face it. We didn't have slavery in this country for over 100 years because it was a bad thing. Quite the opposite. Slavery built the South. Now, I'm not saying we should bring it back. I'm just saying it had its merits. Merits. But one thing, the streets were safer after dark. He also said, you know who deserves a posthumous Medal of Honor? James Earl Ray, the confessed assassination, the, uh, the, the confessed assassin of Martin Luther King. We miss you, James. Godspeed. He said, let the unskilled uh, jobs that take absolutely no knowledge whatsoever to do, let the stupid and unskilled Mexicans do that work. You're a foreigner, shut your mouth, or you get out. A Chavez is a Chavez. We've always had a problem with him. He also said, have you ever noticed how composite pictures of wanted criminals all resemble Jesse Jackson? Responding to a black to a caller who said black people should have a greater voice on issues, he said they're only 12% of the population who the hell cares? On Barack Obama during the 2008 election, a veritable rookie whose only chance of winning is that he's black. He called fe feminism was only established so, so to allow unattractive women to access the mainstream of society. Women should not be allowed on juries where the accused is a stud. On the LGBT community, uh, politicians getting elected, I guarantee there'd be some people in the Republican establishment who will think, yeah, we need to do this. We need to provide a home. We need to be providing a comforting atmosphere for the tranny community and the gay community. But those people are voting Democrat anyway. On the Central American migrant caravan heading toward uh, the U.S. in 2018, he said the objective is to dilute and eventually in eliminate or erase what is known as a distinct or unique American country. This is why people call this an invasion. He said women still live together longer than women still live longer than men because their lives are easier. He said, I'm a huge supporter of women. What I'm not is a supporter of, of liberalism or feminism is what I oppose. And feminism has led women astray. I love women. I don't know where all, all this got started. I love the women's movement, especially when I'm walking behind it. On Beyonce, he said she's married to a witch guy, so now she understands what it's worth to bow down. On Sandra Fluke, a Georgetown law student who testified before Congress about the importance of health insurance covering birth control, what does it say about a college co-ed Sandra, Sandra, Susan Fluke who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says she must be paid to have sex? What does it make her? It makes her a slut, right? It makes her a prostitute. On Hurricane Irma, he said you can accomplish a lot by just creating fear and panic. You don't need a hurricane to hit anywhere. All you need is to create the fear and panic accompanied by talk and climate change is causing hurricanes to become more frequent and bigger and more dangerous. And you create panic. And it's mission accomplished, agenda advantaged. Limbaugh later evacuated his Florida home because a hurricane was coming. Let me just say this. Usually when an old white guy is this vitriolic, this hateful, and this racial, uh, just racist, they don't just raise, lower the flag to half mass. They don't just say wonderful things. They don't wax poetic. When some white guy is this racist and hateful and vitriolic, not only do they do all those things like raising the flag and talk about him in fine terms, not only do they do all those things, but when you're as racist as Rush Limbaugh was in American history, generally you get your face on the $20 bill. 
That's a little note from a GED session. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DL Hubley Show.